help video. Step one, open Safari. Because we set Brightspace as the landing page, it should open directly there. Um, your courses will be different, but hopefully you'll see urbanism. Click anywhere in that uh, symbol to open up the urbanism Brightspace page. Uh, you will see under br content browser the list of weekly themes. So each one is a week. I've made um, Wednesday's introductory class, the theme um, 12, History Theory of Urbanism, Friday's lecture, the Anthropocene, the following Friday's lecture, Designing for Life. Since that's the one we've been looking at, let's try that. Click on Designing for Life to see the content elements in that weekly theme. First, there's a reading that we want students to read before they show up for the lecture. Then there are the slides for the lecture. Then there is a video uh, capture of the lecture recording from last year. Let's try clicking on that. And what opens is a Brightspace content page that is hosting a YouTube frame. If you click on the YouTube play symbol, uh, you get um, a recording of last year's version of the lecture, in case you're interested in um, what we did By last using year. wind theory, uh, some cities... Uh, okay. Now, going back, you have this navigation here. You can go back to the page we were just at by clicking on 10 Designing for Life, or you can click on that back arrow both brings you to the same place. So here we, we find ourselves here. So I click on 10 Designing for Life again. Now I want to look at the slides and change the slides. So here are the slides. Um, this should be Designing for Life City 21 version of the slides. Uh, and as we did on Zoom the other day, um, now I want to uh, import some slides from a PowerPoint file, maybe even a Keynote file that I have on my laptop. So this is the Google Slides menu here in the upper left corner of the browser window. And so I click on File where I see Import Slides. A common mistake is to go too far up to the upper left and access the Safari window where there is no import slides option. So if you find yourself clicking on the file menu and seeing no import slides option, try make sure you're in the right menu. You want to be in the Google Slides menu, which you will see with this uh, orangish rectangle. So you, you hover over the file. Uh, menu item and come down to import slides. This is where the action is. And when you click on import slides, it will say, oh, you want to import some slides from a presentation that you currently have in Google Drive. And if you have uh, PowerPoint or Google Slides presentations somewhere in the Google Drive, you can see them all here. Um, you will see different things than, than we're seeing here because uh, you have a different collection of things in your Google Drive. No, I don't want to uh, import slides from any of the presentations on Google Drive. I want to import slides from my presentations that are on my laptop. So if you want to upload slides from files on your laptop, click on Upload. Upload implies that it's down in your, it's downloaded onto your laptop and you need to upload it into the cloud because it's not yet in the cloud. And so this is what you see. And you're being invited, we're being invited to select a file from your device. And um, by device, it means your laptop. So I click on that. Yep, that's what I want to do. And it says, okay, where do you want to bring slides from? 
well, maybe I want to bring slides from the Caracas 20. Um, maybe I want to show something Maria presented in uh, 2009, back in the day. So yes, I love Maria's The Void um, slideshow of El Carmen in Caracas. So I'm going to choose that. It could be a PowerPoint, might be also, oh, I guess I can't do that one. All right, I'll try that again. Again, go to File, Import Slides, select a file from my device. Um, let's look for a PowerPoint um, slideshow. I don't seem to have a lot to offer. So I'm just going to do a search for the file suffix at the end that means this is a PowerPoint slideshow. Um, so I want to do something, um, anything that's a PowerPoint. Um, let's say Stephen DeFuria's uh, Pecha Kucha presentation that he made at the MARC celebration last year. So I wait patiently while Google Slides upload or accesses the slides in that PowerPoint file that's on my laptop. And it's going to show us, here are the slides that are in that PowerPoint file on your laptop. Um, let's see. I have to scroll down and let it load before I can see them all. I like that slide. I remember that one. Uh, this is a good slide, so I select this. Oh, I almost forgot. Let's say uh, we don't want to keep the original theme. We want the slides that we're importing to uh, look like the slideshow, uh, the original slideshow that, that we're coming into. So it'll be easier to make it conform to the slideshow. So I've selected the slides I want. I click on Import Slides. And I wait patiently as it brings those slides in. If I'm sitting on the first slide here, it will bring the slides in just after that. And I can reorder those slides. Let's say I want to I want to show Villanueva's uh, campus first, and then I want to show the resiliency thing after all that. After all of that mid fifties Villanueva stuff. So I'm going to bring in Stephen's slides here. And um, I want to distort this. Uh, it's a timeline, so I don't mind if it gets a little distorted. I want people to, I want it to fill the slide so I can stretch the image. If it's a map or a diagram, it works to stretch it. So I'm, I like that slide. This one, I, I don't want all this writing. What I really care about is this corner of it. So I'm going to double click, double click, and I get the corners available. This allows me to cr crop. So I want to be careful to grab the corner, the black corner, not the blue. See, I blew it, so I'm going to push Command C, double click. And the image, I want to make sure I'm cropping the image to be exactly what I want and nothing I don't want. That's kind of what I want. And so I can do that. And then I click somewhere else outside, and there I have it. Um, but I want it to be, I want it to be visible to students. So I'm going to now use the blue frame. Um, without double clicking in the image, uh, just so they can see that. It's a map, so I don't mind if it's distorted. So I'm going to do that. And there we have it. And I might do some additional cropping. Um, I can double click on it. I can say Command Option uh, minus to get it smaller so I can grab that edge. Maybe crop it a little more. I want to see the key. Okay. And there we have it. 
Command Option Plus to get it more full size and click outside the image. It automatically saves and we're all set. Um, so there we there we go. Uh, if I want to insert an image, I can click Insert Image and upload an image from my computer. So I want to upload an image uh, and I want to in upload something from Busquets. Let's see if I have anything from Busquets. I know I do. Um, let's find something from Barcelona. Um, lots of Barcelona Pavilion. Here are the Busquets. I just spelled it wrong. So I'm going to bring, let's say, I want to bring three images in at once, or a bunch of images in once. So I grab these images, I say select, and it's bringing them all in as a batch into the slide I'm on. I'm going to cut those, I'm going to add a new, um, I think I use Control M to add new slides. Um, I want to go to this one and I'm going to paste those images that are there. And I want to grab just one of those images and separate these images. So now I can just work with my slide show um, recropping um, because I scanned it in kind of a hasty way. So I want to do this. I want to change the background of the slide. I click out so that nothing is selected. I click on background and I want to change the color from black to white. And I say done. And so now it's a white background so that my white background images um, can show up properly. And I can cut these other images out and put them in here. Etc. So you get the idea. And that's it.